All right, today I think we're going to do this level instead of the previous two. 3.7, 3.8. Wait, this is 3.9. This is still a three. It looks nicer. Let's give it a go. I was, I was actually intending to move to the floors where the hats were, but uh, we can give this one a go. Like the the, the um, Dom Camus style compartmentalization of all this stuff is, is seems quite nice. Uh, so I like the setup. I purely have to get through there. And the reason I can't is because you're in the way. Okay. And I can get through here. Take that with me. I can even make it gray if I want to. Um, for some reason, I have the ability to push you that way, or to push you this way as well. Right. So at some point, right, you're going to have to come back out of there. The only way that happens is if uh, I can do a yellow undo, and I can push you down. Yes. Okay. But if I'm doing a yellow and do, then these two will also come back. So these two need to turn red. That's the goal. And there are two red things. Okay. I think that's the goal. Is this one going to have the trick that I tried to do last time? Or maybe not. So there's two holes here to get to that red. There's no holes to get to this red, except there's the issue of... Once that's there, that's stuck. So I actually need to push that red downwards. Okay. Hmm. I need to push that red downwards, which is across three holes. I've only got two statues. Okay, good luck. I mean, potentially I can jump over something or I don't know exactly. We also have a gray here, but I can't teleport to the other side of a gray, especially one that's like stuck in a corridor like this. So, um, interesting. I have to push that red down. There's never any getting behind it. Yeah, and I don't want to push it onto the red thing. So I have to approach from the holes in the floor. Something has to consume this. It has to be a yellow. I have no choice. It can't be the gray. The gray would consume it, right? I think I determined that last time. Even though you're already gray, you still turn gray. Um, I guess I can test it with the red. Yeah, I think that's consumed that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I can make... I don't think I'm crossing that hole first, right? I don't think I could do any floaty nonsense. I'd need a gray. I do have a gray. Oh, well, that's another issue. Is how would I ever get a gray around that corner? Well, yeah, that's a big issue. I can't get a gray around that corner. I can only get yellows around that corner. Ah, I can get this yellow out. I can get all of these. Okay, hold on. Let's bring you, sure, you go there. And you go there. No, I can't get this yellow out. Uh, unless I turn, I can get that yellow out if I turn you gray. Maybe. No. I can stand here. Add that to my stack. No, because at the time the yellow went that way, which was way back here. I was not in there. Yeah, I can't. I have to stand here, push the yellow in front, undo, st stand there, do a yellow, do a like uh, whatever. Yeah, I don't think I can get that out, can I? Okay, well, then we have problems. We have 
have lots of problems. So this I can do. No, how does it work? How would it work? I'd have to put, I'd have to go in here first and then push that in and do this. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm on the yellow. <laughs> Probably have to do something with this first. How does this help me? It makes something red. I can get a red through there as well. I can't get a gray through there. I feel like I kind of want to make the gray red, but then the gray's wedged in here. So what else can the gray do except that? Nothing. Uh, not true. Not true at all. Make the yellow red, or I can make the gray red. And then make it gray again. <laughs> um, I could have turned one of them gray. But then, what do I care about? Which one's which? I mean, at the very least, this lets me take the next thing through. What's it doing? No, not that. Yeah, why would I? Not? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I might as well just push that in and then push the next one in. Okay, I would achieve the same thing as doing the trick. Now I can take this through. Oh. And I have that. Now I can do lots of undos and. That will stay there at least for a while. So the yellow and the gray that are currently in the hole are the original yellows, right? I think. Oh, I can hold it there and it goes faster. No, that's that one. Hmm. I think I made a mistake because I want the yellows to turn. Okay, let's do this again. Let's bring these up. I specifically want... Oh, but I need the yellows to turn red. So I can't use a red to fill in that hole. Do I need the yellows to turn red? Why do I need the yellows to turn red? So that I can undo back to here. Wait, it still doesn't help me do anything. Wait, how does the ending of this work? I feel like I understood how the ending of this works, but now I don't. Because I can't go in there and have you come back. How do I deal with you? Ever. The other one do always just brings you back to where I'm where I was. How can I possibly get past this yellow? Oh, I push it down. That's the thing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's the reason I want. I don't need both of them to be red. I need one of them to be red. I need this one to be red, so that when I undo to here, that one hasn't come back. But then that one's come back. Mm, I might need them both to be red. Because, okay, so this would be yellow still. I'd undo to here. This is red and it's somewhere else, so it's not in my way. But I've undone to here, so that you're back and you're back. So then what do I do? Mm, yeah, nothing. They both need to be red. I mean, maybe that's doable because I did get, I can get one of them red. Okay, let's get one of them red. It has to be one of these two. Let's make sure I don't forget that. The one of them has to turn gray in the process. 
So it's not you that's turning red. You're going to be you're just going to be in a hole then. Uh, maybe you come out afterwards. But why? Which one do I want to be red? This is the next question. If I go with the yellow, I can get the grays back out. Which feels reasonable. And I'll, have, I'll have access to one of them at least. Inside each other, let's not forget that. Um, when did you turn grey then? <laughs> I think clearly that grey is going to come out. So, what's my way of getting that grey out? Like, otherwise, it's just sitting there useless. I could, well, I can't change color. So no, I can't ever bring that out, can I? Oh, unless I push it in, then remove it. Push it in across what though? Do both have to be red, right? Both of the yellows. In which case, one of them turns red here, one of them turns red there. The one that turns red there can be used as the bridge. I don't care where it is. Afterwards, I just care that it's red and not here. So it's red and it's in there. Then do I have two more things to use? Yes, I've got the gray and the yellow. So therefore I need both of them. Assuming I don't do any floating tricks here. That's maybe too big of an assumption. Because I put, well, I can't get a gray in here, so I can't do any floating tricks. Okay. So I need to fill in all three of these. Okay. Therefore, I need to get you. That's impossible. Is it impossible? It's not impossible. But I can do it quite trivially, can't I? This. And if the red's consumed already. If the red were consumed already, I could take this in and then remove it as red. Do I care if it's that? Maybe that could just turn red. No, I do care because I need to make the two yellows red. Yes. Okay. So, I need something else to consume the red, which has to be one of these yellow statues. Um, do either of them need to consume that immediately? Why don't I push you in, push you in, make one of these red immediately in the simplest way possible. Now, now my problem is though, how am I going to get this gray statue over into here and back again? If I've got, a, if, if the only statues I've got to fill in the holes are red and... yellow. Because then I lose the red and I don't want to lose the red. Also, something's going to turn gray. So I've only got three statues to work with. So I can't avoid something turning gray, which I can't get around this corner.
Huh? The thing that turns gray is the thing that turns red at the start. Okay. So you, for example, you go in. So now the gray's gone and you're red. Now I can take stuff through without anything turning gray, except the one gray that I've got. So what do I do about that gray? What do I do about that gray? If I can't take that gray around the corner, I've only got two statues to work with. Am I wrong? No. I can't get, a, I can only get a yellow or a red around that corner because they're the ones that I can like undo through. Because I can't change my hat, I can't undo through a, a, a gray. Would the others allow, I don't know if the other hats would allow me to undo through a gray. No, I don't think it would because either way, Whatever undo I, I'm doing, the gray will undo as well. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't let me, but okay. Hmm. Three holes, but one of them's gray. So you can't remain gray, which means you're turning red. But if you're turning red, then one of these isn't turning red. So then I'm stuck. Am I not? I need to undo to a point. I need to do yellow undo to a point where you are here so I can push you down. The only position I could be in after that is this position. Therefore, to push you down, I would need to go through these or through you. Is, this po is it possible to somehow set that up on, on the deck or something. No, because I would have had to have been here. Like it's not like I can go like through here, dance around a bit, do some yellow and twos. Well no, it is like this. No, it's not like this. Wait, what? Dance around up here, do some grey on dues. Then do some no, as soon as I start doing the yellow on dues, my grey on do magic tricks have gone. Yeah. So those both need to be red. Oh, I can turn two things red at the same time, can't I? That's gonna be the thing. That's gonna be the thing. That's what this is about. Put two things on, but then how do I separate them? No, 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 that's not the trick. Well, what happens if you push? No, they would fall in the hole together, right? Yeah, I would not be able to separate these statues that are both red. I mean, I just want to double check there's no weird behavior. I would be quite surprised. Um, how do I do it? Uh, no. No, oh gosh. How do I remove them? Uh, maybe I just remove, okay, like that, right click. Um, what do I want to do? I want to test red on red. So I need to make a red circle. What's a cover? Maybe that's a spoiler for something I haven't seen yet. Um, oh, maybe there's like whole covers. Uh, what am I doing? Red thing. So I'm going to need to do gray statue, yellow statue, then do this. Uh, then do, no. ah. yep. both threads. Just want to know what happens if 
Yeah, they both fallen. That's exactly as I expected. Okay, let's get back out of this mode, get back to the non-broken level. <clears throat> so turning two things red at the same time does not seem to fix anything. Hmm. So what option do I have? I cannot get a gray through here. I cannot do a floating trick. Therefore, I need three things in here. Is that true? Yes. What was my trick where I had a statue floating and I pushed it? I guess I had to put a statue on a gray and then turn, yeah, either way, there has to be a gray. I can't put a gray in here, so there has to be three things there. Well, it's not you, because if you were up there, I'd be done. So one, two, three, all three of them have to get through. Therefore, you have to be non-gray. So you have to be red. That's the only color you can turn into. That's my only option. So in that case, there has to be a way there has to be a way to do the ending of this without turning both of those red. Oh, but I don't care if I can't separate them, right? No, I do care if I can't separate them because I don't have three things to put in here. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, I don't care about not separating them because I just want one of them to be occupied. So like if one of them was a statue and one of them was that, they were both red and they were combined. I was thinking that doesn't matter because I don't care about you coming back to this spot, but I do care about having three statues to put in this sequence of holes. So you have to turn red. So then these two don't. Yeah. One of them. Wait, I have another issue here. <laughs> I have another major issue, which is that I'm sure if I fill in three of those holes, what am I then putting on here? Ah, what? <laughs> I have nearly enough stuff to do any of this. What? You're my problem. I can't get you. Nothing I can do where I feel to get behind you. Therefore, I have access to three statues. There's three holes here, which I would need to cross to push this down. Oh, then maybe I undo so something come out. Yeah, of course, of course. Then I can get them free again. Yeah. So that's not an issue. I just need three in there to push that down. Then I can recover some back. One can go there. One of these two yellows. Okay, but I've determined, right, that that uh, you also have to become red because I can't get you past this to do these three. And I can't do these three without floating or having three things they can't float because they can't get the gray through there so so somehow you turn red one of these turns red and i can do this how let's say 
Yeah, I don't get it. Like, if, if I'm undoing to this state. Both of them need to be gone. There's, there's, there's no other way that can work. What's the trick here? I've only got two red colorizers. Sure, there's a red statue that doesn't affect anything. I need to, because I need to turn these two red so that when I undo to this state, like turning one of them gray doesn't help because undoing yellow undoes that. So somehow I have to undo the state and these two are not here. Otherwise I cannot get through. Unless of course, I remove. <laughs> of course I'm not doing that. Um, it's interesting to think about how using a level editor can be, can be used to help think about a puzzle. Like, I would be able to do this if I could do this. And then you play through that and you go, okay, but I've got this constraint. So that's the reason I can't do that. Uh, and maybe it helps you think about the level a bit. I don't know. But I have to undo to this state. If only one of those is missing, I cannot get through. Sure, if that was missing, I can push that to the right. It doesn't help me. If that one's missing, I can't do anything. I can push you to the right, which is the same problem. Those two need to be red. Okay, in which case, I'm only getting two through this. Yeah? Okay, let's just accept it. Those two need to be red. So the gray is never booming red. It's potentially consuming this, but I don't think so. But it's never coming around this corner. So with two reds in here, can I do something useful? No. What about a yellow? What about some number of yellows and reds? I can't do any floating tricks because I need a gray. Right? If I put a yellow in, sure, I can undo the yellow without removing a red. Like I could put a red in there and then undo yellow and the yellow would come back out. And so I just have a red there. What use is that? Who knows? Nobody knows. And there wouldn't be any state in my history where I had been standing there. Okay, hold on. Am I wrong about pushing a gray through here somehow? No. I can't be. Oh, <laughs> look at the title of the level. Your level by you. <laughs> That's not what it's called. There we go, parking lots by Nam Berber. This is just immediately not possible. These two need to be red. I need to get three things in there. Therefore, I need to make you red. Therefore, nothing works. I can't somehow use this to separate the two reds that I put together. Can I? No.
because if I put the two reds on there, one of them would become, oh. Oh, I can imagine the potential trick here, which would feel a bit like a glitch, sort of. Not exactly. If I push a yellow and a gray onto the red at the same time, they both become red. I then do a gray undo, which comes away, which brings the gray statue back because converting, hold on, how does it work? If I do a yellow into red and then I do a yellow undo, does that come back? No. Huh, okay. Oh, but then maybe that's what that's for. Two reds into, no. I was thinking if it undid like one of them, would the red become active again? Can I, can I use the red twice somehow? Can I do some trickery to use the red twice? Where like one thing gets left on there. How would that work? What well, some piece of trickery to use the red twice. So I'd have to have the statue go on there, come off, and the and st statue go on there, it would come off and the red would be active again, but I've gained the red during that time. The only way I could possibly imagine that happening is by having two, two statues intersected and somehow this magic trick that, I mean, it's possible, maybe with some undo tricks as well. No. The undo tricks would get them intersecting. We also would have the problem of how do I get these two over there while intersecting. I mean, maybe I take one at a time or something, I don't know. Hmm. You know what? Maybe that's the start for. This last set of three levels is terrifying. Okay, where in time is Carmen San Diego? Um, by Alt F4. Alt F4. Um, okay, I have to get through the yellow. How's that going to happen? Uh, it can't happen right now because I, but in this case, I have a hat. So this is similar to the previous problem, but I have a hat now. And so once I've got the red hat, I'm pretty sure I can just walk straight through there. Um, we're probably going this way. This is the one-way lock from in a trench coat, which worked how? Like this. I think it's a one-way lock with a bug. I think that's actually the way of doing that and leaving. Red hat. And then everything can shuffle. Okay, hold on. Is there some way for you to fill in that and then fill it in again? I guess by doing yellow and do's right. Is this this simple? Oh. Yep, okay. <laughs> This is way easier. Let's do a couple of these. Hatman John by Dom Camister Notton. Okay, that's uh, a potentially scary combo. Hatman John. Uh, two statues. Whew. 
red statue that's never changing color. So wherever you go, that's where you go. There's just no choice about that. Therefore, I'm shipping the red along, right? This is nice. Okay. Were you at the edge before or were you at this, in the middle? You're in the middle, okay. Now I need to set up states where, oh, but I also need to be able to push you to the right more. What if I were to do, no. Hmm. What if I were to do, so if I put a red hat on, I'm not affected by any undoes, everything else undoes instead of me. And everything else is just the statue. So at that point, only the statue is going to move. Wow. Okay. So can I have a situation where I've like pushed you in there and you wrote that's on the undo stack and then I pushed you in there. How am I going to do that? Once I'm wearing a red hat, is there, is there suddenly a purpose to like red undoes? I mean, it would move everything still, right? Yeah, it doesn't really change anything. No, that's still a very much just an undo. It's not like a real undo, a really, really undo. Um, so how can this work? Somehow, I, I can never get behind you. True, true. Because wherever you go is where you go. So there must be some way of ferrying you across. Um, and I can get back here by undoing. So I've got, I've got this on my stack now. So if I do yellow and do at some point, I'll go back there. I don't really understand how I'd ever push the gray down from here though, or either of them. There must be a way, right? But also a ground deal just a yellow and do just put that back in there. How does the hat help? I can play that out basically. Oh, I could stand here. Yes, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, cool. Um, and then somehow get behind this. Right, okay. So let me just play that out. So I'd have to do this, this, undo that, go grab the red hat, stand here, do a yellow undo. Okay, that's how I get a gray in there. And similarly, it would work here, right? I can put you on top of the red hat. So fortunately, the uh, statue does not wear it. And I can grab this, go here, bring you across. What if I want to do one at a time? Will I be able to do that? No, because that point I'm changing the history. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. That's the plan. <laughs> Easy. Now, how on earth do I push the red along? Red does have to go along here. I'm sure I can do this and get that back. And then I can start doing the trickery that I just did, but then how on earth do I get across? Oh, okay, so I can have it on my stack at the time when I'm here. Okay. That's on my stack, I'm doing grey undoes. As long as I don't undo that with yellows at any point, I can get back there. Then I can do... Uh, you can back this. I might be doing this separately. And then yellow undoes.
Mm, but you're going to come back out, yeah. So sure, I will. Oh no, and I won't go back there because I've got a red hat on. Huh. Can I, oh, can I set up, this would be beautiful. Can I set up a situation where you're like here and then I can just like stand here with a red hat on and the gray will go everywhere I need it to go. Is that possible? Sure it is. Is it? You go there. Was it the yellow and twos? Now I'm doing yellow and twos. But then this is a grey undo, which I can undo. Okay, sure, this is still my grey stack. My, well. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I think I'm doing something good. Do I need to have done that in reverse? Because you're going to go in there, aren't you? In the middle one. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> this is actually beautiful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the grey statue just does everything I needed to do. So I go. I push this in. I undo. I grab the red hat. I go stand there. I no, I do a yellow undo. And then we add that back. Then we push you here. And we do this. And we do a yellow undo, so you're here. Push you there. Then bring you back. Push you here. That's just on the stack. Then we get you ready. And we do a bunch of yellows. Is this going to work? I just hang out here with you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's brilliant. That is fantastic. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to leave that there. That was fun. Um, 3.7 to 3.9. Hmm. They're going to be trouble for a while, aren't they? I don't know when I will overcome them. Eventually, I guess. <laughs> I don't think there's been a puzzle in the history of my channel that I haven't overcome at some point. But this game and uh, being in nothingness are um, definitely threatening that that winning streak. Okay, uh, it's quite a lot of four levels, but at least they're doable. They're much more manageable. Um, yeah, I'm just immediately stumped on 3.9. Anyway, anyway, okay, let's just uh, continue next time. Uh, I'll see you then for probably more of this section rather than going back. We'll do that maybe at the end. We'll see.